2022. Grab a bowl of popcorn and join me in your pajamas because I'm having a pajama party. Let's have some fun tonight and let's celebrate. that you all could join me tonight for my pajama party on New Year's Eve and I am doing an unboxing of Misha SF1026 and she is in the color buttered toast on my head I have Veronica I did have a review for Veronica I also did a little bang trim for Veronica so if you want to check that out I'll put the link right there for you but let's get to unboxing Misha so Misha was a style that I did for my very first video uh, last April. And I didn't really know what I was doing then. So I just thought it would be fun to do another unboxing of Misha. See if she looks the same. See if she's still one of my favorite wigs. I do believe that that color was honey. And this one is in buttered toast. So for her cap, we have that soft velvet front. She is all open wefted. She has the extended nape with the Velcro closures, the open ear tab with a little bendy metal stay. And let's just check out her stretch. So she's got a good stretchy cap too. So let's flip her around and see. I'm so excited to have a new Misha. Oh my gosh, you guys. She's such a pretty style. So I'm excited to put her on when I come back. She's going to be on my head. All right, so we, here we have Misha right out of the box, and I forgot to show you guys, but she does have some permatees up here because of that open wefting. So as you can see it there, um, but it really doesn't feel like a whole lot of permatees. But I'll just go ahead and put her catalog picture up here, and I'll put her measurements probably down here or on the side, and um, we'll just do a little compare. She is so cute. I really love her layers. So um, she's not even really too shiny. I love the buttered toast. As you can see, the highlights in there. I like to set my camera up so you can see the parting, so you can see the permatease, so you can see the highlights. She's cute. I don't think you necessarily have to have the lace front. Now I do have a little bit of my bio sides pulled out, but you guys have seen, if you've watched any of my videos, I don't have much. I kind of do a big comb over of what little hair I have, I comb it all forward. Then I put the velvet grip on top of that. So then what's sticking out here, I just blend in to kind of make it look natural. So we'll get to messing with her, but I'm going to just go ahead and do a spin so that we can see her from all sides. Oh my gosh. She's still my favorite. I just love her layers. Oh, she's so cute. I got to move away so you guys can see. Yes, <laughs> I love Misha. 
You guys, there's not a ton that I have to do. I'm going to mess up this part. So, <laughs> you guys know my drill. Let's mess her up. So I'll give her a spritz with water and then get in there with your fingers and really start digging. We are activating that permatease. Flip your hair over and dig in some more. Flip it over the other way, dig in. Add a little bit of brown tinted dry shampoo. That was the Equate brand from Walmart. I am trying that out. So stay tuned, I'll let you know how that works. Now I'm just gonna comb the hair fibers up and over the top of the permatease. And I'm just using my wide tooth comb. She does not take much at all and I'm not going to root spray her. How cute. All right, Misha. She is just a really beautiful style. If you like layers on just an ever so slight wave, she's very feminine. Um, she really gives me a lot of confidence too when I wear her because I do feel like it's kind of head turner hair where um, normally <laughs> at my age, men don't hold doors anymore. And maybe, maybe chivalry is dead. <laughs> But I like to think there's a little bit still out there. So it does seem like when I have worn her in the past, I've gotten a door held going into the grocery store or the gas station. Um, yeah, she's really cute. I did not root spray her. Um, so I have the, the light golden brown from L'Oreal. Somebody asked me, does it spray on your face? It doesn't. Can you guys see? It's just a teensy tiny pinhead nozzle. So you can really direct where that goes. Um, with the way this buttered toast is looking, and maybe it's just on camera, it already looks like it has the rooting. Um, this little bit here is my bio. So I blend that in. So typically, what I use the root spray for is I'll spray my bio just like that. If you would ever get a little bit on your face, I just take my little sponge, my little makeup sponge, and then that just comes right off. So that's what I do. Somebody on the Polly Young fan page asked, do you um, put your wig on first or put your makeup first? I've always done my makeup first. Even when I would do my bio hair, I always did my makeup first. And then I worry about my hair. <laughs> um, maybe just because my hair always took the longest. But I just think it's better that way than wash your hands so that you're not getting your makeup on your wig. But she's beautiful. She did not take hardly any. She did not take hardly any doing at all. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, she's so pretty. I'm sorry, I'm just like sitting here gushing at how pretty she is, but she's beautiful. She's totally beautiful. So if you like Heidi, but you don't necessarily need a lace front or you wanna try something similar with a bang, cause maybe you're a little afraid to trim a bang in Heidi, cause I know hers is a little bit longer. I think you should order Misha. I just, I love her. I got Misha on a sale. They do have 30% off at Paul Young right now, free shipping if you spend $59. So I'll include a link below for Misha and I'll also put that catalog code down there too. So follow my link and then use that code when you check out to get your discount. We should do some styling, huh? All right, I'm gonna try a headband. Oh, look how easy and cute she looks with a headband. Now I'm just gonna do a half up, little ponytail on top, and I'll add a bow. How's that for a cute pajama party look? So fun. All right, you know me and my twists. And then I'll add just that little clip. And you can kind of stick that clip in the weft to secure. 
And that's cute. That's a cute workday look. And now I'm going to work on a little updo, just kind of a messy pony type updo. So we'll start with half the hair at a clip and then the remaining hair I'll twist up and use the big claw clip, fluff it up. Now tug down on the bottom so everything looks natural, hides the wig line. How cute is that? I think that looks totally natural, so fun. And I'll do my little formal side swept style just to see if she'll work in that style. So you just twist the hair around, tug on the bottom a little bit. I'm gonna twist the side over, clip that and add a bow. She's just so pretty. Oh, you guys, it is below zero here. So I gotta pull out the hat and the scarf. I don't know, we might just stay inside all day. It's so darn cold here. Glasses work good. Just stick it right in those open ear tabs. And now I'm getting ready for my pajama party. <laughs> With my little pigtails. Happy New Year! Yay! <laughs> She's fun to style. I'm so happy that I got her. She is just beautiful. The fibers feel wonderful. The layers are beautiful. They frame your face very nicely for doing updos. Ah, just love her. Just love her. She's going to be super cute for my pajama party with my mom. We are watching Hallmark Movie Marathon. So um, let me know in the comments what you guys are doing for New Year's Eve. We are staying home and watching movies, maybe sipping a little bit of wine. And I think I'm making a taco bar, just kind of hors d'oeuvre kind of stuff, just to have a fun girls' night. So I want to thank you all for making my 2021 so memorable. You guys all gave me the courage just a few short months ago, last April, you gave me the courage to come on here and do this. And Misha was my very first review. So I thought it fitting that I end 2021 with a brand new Misha to thank you all so much for coming on, for subscribing, for liking, for your beautiful comments for lifting me up, for lifting each other up. We are wig sisters, we are in this together. If you're a new wig wearer, if you are a long time wig wearer, there's just something fun about it. It's given me my confidence, it's given me my life back. And you all have done that for me with your comments and just the excitement generated around my channel and I'm just just truly truly blown away and I just feel truly blessed and I hope that I have given back to you in some way in 2021 maybe even just with a smile or a word of encouragement I want you to know that you're not alone and even if you don't have hair loss but you like the accessory of wigs. You can see that you can buy beautiful, affordable pieces that you don't have to break the bank. And you can look gorgeous and you can change up your style, your length, your color. Don't box yourself in. Don't let other people tell you what you should and shouldn't do. Um, don't let somebody dictate to you based upon your age or your weight or the size of your cheeks on what kind of hair you should wear. It's your hair. It's your hair. You do what you want and you do what makes you feel good. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. If you do buy a style that I have reviewed, that I have recommended, uh, hop on over to the fan page, Polly Young fan page over on Facebook and post your picture, tag me in it so that I know and then I can hop on and see how gorgeous you are. And it's just so fun. It's just so fun 
to lift each other up and to share some kindness and some light in a world that sometimes seems really, really dark. So I don't want anyone to feel that way. So in 2022, I want us to go out and I want us to share joy and I want us to share love and encouragement for all, for all who might be struggling. Um, if you see somebody and they're not smiling, maybe they just need you to smile and say hi and that will brighten their day. So thank you all again so much from the bottom of my heart. I am truly, truly grateful and I will see you in 2022. Bye-bye.